acting out Good Burger, very popular cult-like following of a movie from back in the day, what, what? Bring up the As he pushed that orange soda in a safe spot. And what does this match need? I know what it needs. More cowbell. Ring the bell! It needs more cowbell. Who are you talking to over there? I'm talking to the people watching your match. Are you talking by yourself? The, the masses are listening, Mark Quinn. Mark Quinn doesn't know about social media. I thought all these youngsters were up to date on that. You kids in your YouTubes and your Twitters. 
As we start this high-flying matchup, Hammerlock applied from all that. Keita Murray, reversal though. These two young upstarts, this is what the future of professional wrestling is all about. Young men hungry to make a name for themselves, give the fans an enthusiastic, high-flying match, doing unfathomable feats in the ring. Side headlock right now from Baby New Year, Mark Quinn. Oh, something's got to give, but it didn't right there. As Keita Murray shaking his fanny right now, he's supposed to wrestle him. He drug all that, but look at Mark Quinn. And a big drop kick down goes Quinn. Murray for the cover, hooks the leg, but only on one count. Barely one, says Rob Black, the referee. Breaker. Little shake, battle, and roll going on up in the mix for the cover. Quick victory here for Kita, but no. Oh, here we go. Our 2015 battle against breast cancer event, a very important event for us here at the Underground. These gentlemen battling out of the corner. And I think Mark Quinn just went backwards in age, sounding like a nine year old boy. There was the 10 count of punches and all that key to monkey flip out of the corner and the over rotation sends Mark Quinn face first into the canvas. This is going to be it right here. Mark Quinn might be knocked out for the three count, but no. As these two young upstarts, Keita Murray says he's going up to the ropes here. He's always got that money maker going. He's ready to party. Goes for that double stump. The referee being used as a pawn. And Mark Quinn with an insecurity kick working around the referee Rob Blatt. He's lucky he doesn't get this qualified right here. Blatt forced to make the count here, but only a one count. Once again, Baby New Year only gets a one count. The high flyer now going to that ground and pound attack. This is what makes Mark Quinn such a dangerous competitor. As quick as he is, he's been trained by some of the best. Coming out of the House of Glory Pro Wrestling Training School in New York, trained by the likes of Amazing Red and Brian Excel. Others such as Jay Lethal and Rosita, they've come to mentor these young kids at the school there. They've been trained the right way, and right now he's showcasing his skills using a smart approach now as he slows it down, and that is a vicious scoop slam to Keita Murray. Channeling his inner Y2J, not even close to a three count, but I don't think he's trying to pin him right there. I think he's just trying to add a little insult to injury. He just rakes his fingernails into the chesticle area of Keita Murray. What's he going to do here? Building speed! Oh my god, he's going to... Oh! Full steam ahead. What a low angle drop kick. Perfectly placed to the, to the grill. One, two, he's going to get him right here, but no. You can see Rob Blatt says only a two count. Credit to Keita Murray, able to kick out. He pivoted off the road three, four times, going a million miles an hour if you ask him. Oh, Keita ducks the close. Sunset flip, going for that pinfall. But Mark Quinn fights out of it. Oh! A standing moonsault double stop? Are you kidding me? If I didn't see what I just saw, I wouldn't believe what I just saw. The athleticism, the agility, the tenacity. Quinn for the cover, baby New Year, picking up the win, but now. And no, that's not Michael Jackson singing, that's Keita Murray singing to freedom as Mark Quinn almost got away with.
with using the second rope for added momentum. Doesn't pick up the pinfall though. Added leverage have you, but he couldn't get it and Keita Murray, he is just feeling it right now. You know like when you get hit in the lower extremities but you don't actually feel it there, it goes right into your stomach? That's the feeling that he's got right now. Oh! Goes for a splash in the corner this way, but nobody's home. Keita Murray, oh he's going for that orange soda! Good burger! Artificial flavoring and colors. Orange dye number 17 does the trick every time. He goes for the big flapjack. Flapjack. Yeah, he likes his flapjack with extra syrup. Here comes that little extra sauce right here. Pump handle style. Pump handle T-bone for the one, two. Did he get him right here? Oh. That was two in 1920s. 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 Somebody actually listens to my commentary. Yes. Too much orange soda. And that distraction, talking about 1920s and orange soda, Mark Quinn uses that to his advantage and just slings his neck over that top rope. I oh, know. This is where the baby New Year is most dangerous. He's got a high ceiling to work with. What's he gonna do? Ow! Goes for that shooting star double stop. But no. Wow, nobody's home. That could have landed so many different ways, but it only ended one, and that is bad. Quinn is down. Keita Murray trying to power up, feeling the effects of that orange soda. Can he use that sugar high to his advantage? He's got him up in a torture rack here. Quinn able to count out of it, ducks the line. Pele kick, Pele kick, Pele kick from Quinn. Hey, somebody's taking my job. I'm out of work now, Jesus. Well, here we go. What a neck breaker. Mark Quinn, this young man, he has shown that he is an exceptional tag team competitor and an even more exceptional singles competitor. That was an unbelievable modified neck breaker that added leverage by using his own weight to his advantage. And now he's gonna try and get jacked up on orange soda, but he doesn't like it, he spits it out. Kick right to the midsection. Boom, stop right to that side of the neck. Sweeps the leg, down goes all that. Keita Murray now, he's dazed, but he moves out of the way. As Quinn tries to end it right there, this action continues. What a match. Oh, boom. Storming stuff right to the face. Back up in that rock attack here. Boom. And down he goes for that neck breaker. Some fan just said, you can't say rack attack. I didn't mean it like that. I said he was up in the rack about to attack. Is that better? People are so picky. But bottom line is, Keita Murray, victorious. He's going wherever the party's at. The party's at the mix. The party's at the bar. Get a couple of jello shots for this young man to celebrate his victory here at the EPWE Underground Battle Against Breast Cancer 2015. He doesn't need alcohol, he just needs orange soda. More orange soda for everybody, yeah! Chug, 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 chug! Now it's just getting creepy. Keita Murray wins, more action coming up next.